I think office romances um, could be a huge mistake. I think it's very tempting. You see the hot girl walking down the hallway in your office and you always wonder, uh, you know, what it might be like. At least I do. Is that wrong? <laughs> Check with HR first. I'm uh, for it. I think it's great for the first three months. Make little visits downstairs or to the break room or that abandoned floor. You know, it's some good times. And then after that, you're like, not you again. Tons of people probably get married every day from an office romance, but I'm saying that it's, it is a big risk. You know, any kind of nooner in the, uh, in the company lunchroom or bathroom uh, wouldn't be very professional. You might lose your job. You know, in this day and age, it's hard to meet people, and I guess the easiest way past college is an office romance, so if you're looking to hook up with someone, I guess it's inevitable a lot of the time. I end up having this office romance with my coworker, and it just got really crazy. Like, he pursued me, and then I got attached, and then it just kind of blew up, and then we now it's just kind of awkward. Like, we'll see each other every once in a while in the office. like. And then if we get drunk together, we'll start flirting and like hook up again. It's just like this, it doesn't have any kind of, it never ends. I don't know. It's like this abyss, little love abyss. You should spend a lot of time getting to know each other first before you travel down that road. Because if it doesn't work out, it could be utter misery. A good friend of mine had to change his job because they broke up, a really nasty breakup. And it was an office of about four people. And two of them, it really didn't work having the four of them work together when two of them now can't talk to each other. Make sure they sit far away from you. You don't have to see them every day when you walk into the office. Keep it outside of work and just act like friends at work and no one really knows. Shoot. And then when you do actually really hit it off and it becomes more than just a, a little, you know, fling at lunchtime and when you guys actually are seriously dating, um, then I think people will respect it and see it as, okay, these people are really a couple. It's not just a a one-time fling. I say go for it. You know, life's too short not to take a chance.